My name is Morgan. I'm a blogger, a beauty ambassador, and I love to travel. I would love for you to come along with me as I explore new places, try new foods, and of course, squeeze in some shopping. This is the Travel Breakdown. Okay, so we are going to do the river cruise because we think that'd be a fun way to explore Singapore. But the ticket booth is closed right now. There's a big line and it said it's gonna open at nine, but it's 10 o'clock and it's not open yet. So we're gonna walk around this street. We're on Clark Street right now and we're just gonna explore and see if we can maybe do some souvenir shopping or whatever in the meantime. So let's go. You guys look, there's a shots bar, but unfortunately Taryn and I don't have time, enough time to take some shots, but how cool. They have like a special bar for just like shots. The thing that I have to say about Singapore that is really cool is they have amazing architecture everywhere. Like every little like alleyway, every single street you walk down, like everything, there's always really cool architecture. So it's like really fun to look at. It's like, ooh, are we somewhere special? No, it's just Singapore. We're definitely walking around in like a bar alley or something because there's like a lot of bars in this area. Clark Street must be a good place to come party. Yeah. Too bad we don't have enough time or I would totally be down. Yeah. So I guess we're at the wrong ticket booth because we're at that end, but at this end they have one that's open. It's a Singapore River Cruise, so I don't know why all those people are waiting over there in line. And that's where the taxi driver dropped us off, so I don't know, but we're just gonna buy tickets here, it looks like, and ride around on a boat. <laughs> and we were just standing in the shade waiting for the boat to come. But it's $25 for adults, so it's $50 for both of us, and then it's $15 for children, so I don't think it's that bad because you're getting taken around. And if you're in Singapore for a short amount of time like us, this might be a good option to look into. So yeah, we're going to get on when the boat comes, and we're just waiting for that. But one thing, no ice cream allowed. They were very, very sure to tell us about that. because it took us by all the main stuff we'd want to see like the Marina Bay Financial District and also of course the very famous and legendary Merlion. This is very symbolic of Singapore because in the 11th century AD Prince Song Nila Utama came to Singapore and saw a lion so they named it Singapore which in Sanskrit means Lion City and then the fish tail is symbolic of Singapore's beginnings as a fishing village so it kind of combines both of those elements in one, hence the Merlion. Of course, we also went by Marina Bay Sands, which is a very famous hotel in Singapore. They're famous for the world's largest rooftop pool, which unfortunately, we did not have time or the funds to go to. Next to it, which is that funny looking building over there, is Singapore's Art Science Museum. Off in the distance, you'll see the Singapore Flyer, which we did have a chance to go on, and you'll see in later vlogs. Here you'll see the Esplanade, which is Singapore's leading cultural entertainment and performing arts center. It's nicknamed the Durian because, <laughs> well, look at it. But to me, it kind of looks like a roly-poly. What do you think? There were a lot of really cool sights that we also saw, but I just wanted to point out some of my favorite things that we saw while we were on our river cruise. So now we're in Chinatown because we're gonna try and do a little souvenir shopping and the taxi driver said that this might be a good place to start. 
So we're gonna try and see if we can find stuff in this area, but it's beautiful. Like all the lanterns and everything look amazing here. I'll have to show you guys. so pretty like here in Chinatown it is gorgeous everywhere in Singapore is so pretty so far but yeah so hopefully we can get in a little bit of shopping and find some stuff for our families and friends so come along with us Look you guys, it's a USB fan. Definitely need something like that in Singapore because it is so warm. How handy. Success. So we got, I found some shot glasses. That's usually what my family and I collect. So I'm gonna take some back for my family and friends. And we're just gonna look around some more because there's lots of stuff to look at, so. lots of places to eat. They had this whole market type of place where they had like an alley of food stalls and different choices, but we were kind of not too hungry since it was so warm. I tend to lose my appetite, so instead we got some ice cream. And this, guys, was delicious, but kind of sweet. Mm -hmm. mm. So sweet. After that, we went back to where we are staying at, which is the Studio M Hotel. And from there, you'll see what we did next in the next vlog. And let me tell you, we went to a pretty fun beauty event. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Travel Breakdown. And if you want to keep exploring with me, click on the video on the left where I visit a sheep cafe in Korea. It's pretty fun. And then if you also want to go to the Gardens by the Bay in Singapore with me, click on the video on the right. I hope you guys are happy and healthy. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with friends and family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.